is it true? Has CGC done it? Have they really ramped up their turnaround times as far as submitting books and getting them back to us? And if so, at what cost? I don't know. We'll see. Stick around. Check it out right after this. Excuse me. There is a message for you. What's rocking, comic fans? Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back to another CGC unboxing video for you today. Hopefully everybody's doing well, having a great week, having fun collecting, doing what you love. We love doing this for you. So welcome. Welcome back to you. Big welcome to you if it's your first time here. Appreciate you. If you love comic books, if you love Funko Pops, if you like mystery boxes, click on that subscribe button down below. I'm sure you will enjoy what we have to show you. Subscriptions are free. What nowadays is free? Click on that link. Much appreciate you, much appreciate the love. Speaking of love, if you really love what you see today, give us a nice solid thumbs up. Appreciate the likes. Appreciate, I gotta say appreciate a lot because I appreciate you guys. I appreciate what you do. I appreciate collecting and having fun. That's what it's all about. So with that being said, talking about collecting and having fun, we're talking about CGC today, as I love to do. That's what I love to do on my own. Funko Pops I share with the little guy. Um, but we do love collecting together. I mean, he goes to the comic stores with me all the time goes on my hunts with me, and I go on hunts with him. That's what we do. We share the love. Um, so CGC today. Well, it's not like it was a year ago. We're turnaround times, as you all remember, the nightmare of for his turnaround times. You would send books in, and if you saw them in a year, nine months, you were lucky. Unless you fast-tracked, even if you fast-tracked, you were looking at 90 business days, which you turn around and that's five months, four months. Um, it was a nightmare. You know, with COVID and everything, they were inundated with people sending stuff in because, honestly, what else did they have to do? They were at home, they were going through the collections, they wanted to have them graded, and they were making extra income at home by selling their graded books and everything. But it's true. CGC has really ramped up stepped up the game um i just got this submission back um i'm just getting around to opening it but i got it back at the beginning of february uh i, I was a big fan before in the past as far as fast tracking my books because you know for the 15 bucks to me it was worth it this way you didn't have to wait but it doesn't seem like fast tracking is, is necessary anymore i mean from a business standpoint i mean they were making 15 bucks a book but I figured I'd try this submission out, not fast track, and see how it went. And it, I'm not going to lie, it went pretty well. Uh, these books I sent in were sent in, and they were re received by them because I went through pressing and cleaning and everything. Gamma, you're awesome. Uh, Got to give a shout out to my man Gamma Rays for the cleaning and pressing that he does and the love that he shows our books. These were received by CGC on February 9th, marked received in their system. Package arrived there, I want to say February 5th, marked received February 9th. I had them shipped back out six days total, February 15th, sent back to me with FedEx, which I want to get into too. They were on my doorstep by February 18th. Not bad. Totally different. Uh, but I do want to talk about the FedEx shipping too, because I don't know about you guys. The FedEx shipping sucks. Uh, I, my boxes have been coming beat up. I don't know if you guys have had the same problems where it looks like they had a dance party on my box. My box is coming in completely smashed. Looks like they completely stepped on it, partially opened, just beat to butt. You know, like I said, it looks like this thing was thrown around, tossed around. And the best part about it, too, is FedEx, it says signature required. So out of three of my last submissions, they just left on the doorstep, and then the driver called me as he was pulling away. 
which I thought was odd. He just calls me on my cell phone and was like, I just dropped a package off at your house. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm at home. Okay, what's well, on your doorstep? All right, so you're just leaving my package on the doorstep. So if you guys have had that same issue with FedEx and signing for your pack, leave me, leave me a comment down below. Let me know because that to me is odd. Also, let me know down below if your packages from FedEx have been coming the same way. I mean, you, when I used to get them from USPS, it took a little bit longer. But I had to wait. But it was worth it. I made sure that every, my mailman always made sure that I signed for it. Uh, if I wasn't home, they left a notice on the door and I got it the next day. FedEx, they just leave it and apparently call. I don't know. So like, like I said, we're getting faster turnaround times. Quality of grading, we'll see. Um, we'll see how that goes. So we'll go crack into that and check it out with you guys today. See how it goes. But nothing big as far as major keys or anything in this box. In this box. I do have some DC stuff in here, which rarely you ever see me open any DC stuff. But as always, in this box, all submissions are cleaned and pressed by my man, none other than the wizard himself, the master of the dark hold, the keeper of the dark hold, Gamma Rays. Chris, you're awesome. Love you, brother. Thank you for your work that you do on these awesome books. I always say awesome books because guess what? Books are awesome. You know, I love my books. I love collecting. So let's see what we got here today to add to the collection. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep all these. I might, listen, I do have a short box account. I might put some of them on there. <clears throat> so we'll see what happens. Come on with the paper. Don't want to show any invoices or addresses. So let's put this aside and see what we got as far as Books and grades. The packing at least looks solid. I don't even remember how many books I had in here. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five books. There's the invoice, and I didn't show my address. Woohoo! So let's see what we got here. So what do you guys think as far as grading goes lately? As Have you seen like a decline in, as far as the quality of grading? I think maybe they're just getting harder on grading. I don't know. But we will see. I'll start from the bottom and then go from there. First one up. I just always like this cover, this comic, this book. Just because the throw up to the golden age of books love the artwork on this book and since this is i'm keeping this for my personal collection just because like i said i always love that the whole winter soldier captain america you know like i said this is definitely a throwback to the golden age of comics that artwork that style i mean the price of the golden age books i can't afford so this i absolutely love this is just like a cool display piece for me and this one came back at a solid 9.6. I'll take a 9.6. I thought it was going to be definitely a 9.8 on that one. A little scuff back there, but nothing big. Very cool logo. And part of the cover reprinted from Captain America number 27. June 19. I can't see that with the light. 43. Bucky regains his memories. Yeah, this is, like I said, this is a throwback to 1943, the golden age of books and artwork. 9-6 white pager on that one. Like I said, just a cool display piece to have. You know, when you're feeling nostalgic, remembering that artwork, that's a nice solid throwback right there. So kicking off with some Marvel goodness, good old Cap, can't go wrong with that. Very, very cool. Awesome. Once again, Chris, thanks. You are awesome. Appreciate you. Appreciate your work. Again, saying appreciate it over and over again. All right, next one we got up. This one is a throwback for me. I found this at a local store. 
This was the Marvel feature number one, Red Sonja. Not her first appearance. We all know her first appearance was in Conan. But this is very cool. I think this was her first story, her first independent story. She Devil with the Sword. Um, she has her own series coming, I believe. I don't know if it's Netflix. Uh, I think it might be Netflix. Looks pretty badass so far. I'm not going to lie. So I always, ever since the old Conan movies, I was always a big Red Sonja fan. I mean, I, I was a young boy at the time. Could you imagine why I was a big Red Sonja fan? Come on. Woman with the Sword. How hot is that? But this is from, when 1975. November 1975. Wasn't sure. You know, I looked this book up and down. I wasn't sure as far as the quality on this one goes. But it did come back white pages, but came back in 8.0 on that one. For a 1975 book, I'll take it. Um, yeah, I could see a couple things that I might have missed before but overall it was a clean book man I'll definitely have to check the greater notes on that one it was a clean book but all in all still a very cool one to have I mean it's white pages 80 from 1975 could have been worse could have been better but low grades better than no grade and it's not that low you know very cool. I see, I mean, a little mark here, but as far as spine ticks or anything, there's nothing really major. And even on the back, there's nothing, because that's why I always forget to check sometimes, is the back. I see a couple ticks down here. But no corner bends, nothing. Doom. Cool. Very cool. Let's see, Red Sonja, first book dedicated to Red Sonja. First one dedicated to Red Sonja. There she is. Solid white pager. Take it. All right. This book was from my own personal collection. This was a big story arc back in the day. Uh, DC book for all you Batman fans out there. Who, who probably doesn't have this in their collection already? Batman. Number 497. Bane. Breaking, breaking of the Batman. Batman gets his back broken by the one and the only Bane. Nightfall 11. Batman 497. This is from, what's this, 93? Yes. July 93. Awesome. I, all black back cover, which we all know black is a pain in the ass. But even with that all black and back 9-6 again. I was thinking a 9-8 on that one, but could not pull it out. I was hoping for a 9-8. I don't know what they could have possibly hit me on. Because that is clean and crisp. I know with CG State, you think they're getting tighter on the 9-8s? Because, like I said, this thing was solid for a 9-8. I mean, even that back, the back was completely clean. No issues at all with that. I mean, the black, black shows everything. There's nothing on there. This should have been a 9.8. But it's not, unfortunately. I was hoping for it. Didn't happen, though. So that's why I'm wondering. I mean, with their quick turnaround times, you think they're just pushing stuff out? You know, not giving as many 9.8s, kind of controlling the census a little bit. Because, like I said, if you're looking at grading standards, that should have been a 9.8. Yeah, I looked that thing up and down. When I'm sending, like, moderns and stuff. And same thing with that Captain America book. You know, I, I look more modern books up and down to see, you know, possibly any issues or anything like that. And then that thing looked pretty... Pretty purdy to me. Purdy, purdy, purdy. All right. Win some, lose some. Can't get a 9-8 on everything. All right. Here we go. Next one up. We got another Batman book. Told you. DC today. Surprised? So we got Batman 457. Boom. This was a newsstand copy, too. Newsy, newsy. 
Now, there was an error on the newsstand copy. This one, I forget what the error was. This was not the error print, of course. Um, but this was the, was the first appearance of Tim Drake as Robin. I always liked Tim Drake as Robin, too. Newsstand edition, second printing, newsstand edition. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. But... 8.5 on that one. This one I knew I had a couple spine ticks in it. Didn't look like they broke color. So the, the, they're going to put light bends to cover, of course, in their greater notes. Their greater notes can't get more generic than that. First appearance of Jim, Tim Drake as Robin, Scarecrow appearance. I just always loved this color cover. I, I thought that was cool. Not sure if I'll keep it. We'll see what happens. Very, very cool. I love how they're, they're finally putting newsstand and then as far as on the label itself. Very clean, very cool. Very happy with that. All right, next up, next up. What do we got here? Now, sticking with DC. DC, this was another book that I'm sure a lot of you had in your collection at one point in time. What is it? It's a world without a Superman. It is Superman number 75. Okay, this was the black bag, poly bag edition from 1993. I remember when I was a kid when this came out, this comic book actually made the news. Death of Superman. I mean, it was a newsworthy story. Everybody went out, they tried to get those black bag issues. I actually got a couple of them, but... It, then led into the whole funeral for a friend and you know that's when you started like seeing Superboy, Steel, all those coming out but very cool this one I was I was hoping for a little bit more I couldn't tell because it was in the poly bag poly bag books are tough because you get those bends in those books so it's very very tough so you're really flying blind with these but just a cool cool book to have here lies Earth's greatest hero, Superman. The death of Superman. Very cool. 1993, January, my birthday. 8-5 on that daddy right there. Yeah, there's poly bag bands. I, I see them. All right, well, I have another one. I might try to send that one. What do you think? Same thing with that Batman, the 457. I got another one. Same thing with the Batman 497. Should I send those in? Keep going? Shooting for higher grades? See what happens? What do you think? I don't know. Like I said, now that I don't have to fast track them, we'll see what happens. But all in all, very cool. I don't know. It looks like some of that. I mean, I know Chris did his hardest, did his dandest on that. Sometimes when you press them, they regress a little bit. But all in all, I just love that tombstone style. Very cool. But an 8.5, eh. Should have been a 9 on. But white pager, all white pages today. No off white. Happy, 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 joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Very cool. Nice round of books for you to show off today. What do you guys think? Do you think of CGC they're getting to be sticklers with their grading a little bit? Are they grading harsher? You know, their turnaround times have definitely outpaced CBCS by a long shot because I've heard horror stories as far as CBCS, as far as people now waiting for their books like nine, ten months. Uh, this was six days. <laughs> wow. So not, not too bad. Once again, Chris... Thank you for your awesome job, your awesome work on cleaning and pressing. I got another pile of books that I'm actually sorting through to send out today to Chris. Those are some cool ones. Some X-Men keys, back to all Marvel stuff, some Spider-Man books. So that, that's my next submission. I kind of slowed down on submitting a little bit just because it gets pricey and I'm not a big reseller. So I just figure I slow down. I slab what I want to slab and slab what I want to keep. So... What about you guys? You slip, you flipping, you selling. What are you doing? I'm a collector. 
collector at heart always will be but sometimes you got to fund that collection to buy the pieces you really want so i got some stuff on short box i sell some stuff on mercari whenever i want uh if you guys ever are interested in maybe something that i opened up leave a comment down below let me know uh i'm always more than fair with things i've always i'm always glad to help people out maybe there's something you're looking for that i might have raw too let me know that's what it's all about helping the collectors out collecting having fun having a good time I have a lot of DC books, so shoot me a message. Let me know. Uh, follow me on Instagram. You can always hit me up on there. I'm always available. In the meantime, keep on collecting. Keep on having fun. Enjoy every moment of it. Share collecting with the ones you love. And I'd like to share it with you, too. So, if you haven't already, clicked on that subscribe button down below. We have other things as far as super thanks. We have channel memberships. Uh, don't do too many live streams with the memberships. Just it, it's hard with the time and everything. So in the meantime, keep on rocking, keep on collecting, keep on rocking in the semi-free world. We'll see you in the next video. We got some mystery boxes that we're going to be opening up with the little guy soon. We should be opening up this weekend, posting that for you next week. So in the meantime, we'll see you later.